Hello, my name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. And last week's video had me uh, sort of having some flashbacks to building the van in cutting three quarter inch birch plywood in some pretty weird shapes uh, for the van to fit the sides of the van. And of course for this bookcase uh, to fit this space in the chimney that I was trying to build in. So this week's video had me uh, having massive flashbacks about all the wood trim I had to cut uh, and finish for the apartment that I built in the second floor of my carriage house. Uh, the whole cut, sand, stain, let dry 24 hours, first coat of polyacrylic, let dry 24 hours, light sanding, second coat of polyacrylic, and let dry 24 hours before I could install the trim pieces. And of course, I had the same thing with in this video. I had this same issue uh, for all the shelves and the shelf supports and everything else. Uh, obviously, it was nowhere near as intense as the apartment because the apartment had over 200 pieces of trim. Um, but there we go. Lots of flashbacks with this video. But I finally got the bookcase finished and let's get on with it. And you can see the finished bookcase at the end of this video. I'm using polyacrylic because it won't yellow as it ages. I would not use polyacrylic on floors because it doesn't stand up as well as polyurethane. We are headed to Lumberyard pick up. I need a one by twelve finished pine for the top section of the built-in bookcase for the shelves. I should have looked before I left to see if I had any 1x8s. I have to move. Move. No, get off. Get off the board. morning. Day four. And I know it seems like I'm not getting much done. 
every day. But that's because I've been working on that cabinet that you've already seen. At the same time, I'm doing this. So I keep the flipping back and forth. Okay, so I don't know how this is going to go. Um, but I will try to get this up there. So I have it here for now. I am going to leave it here and you know, measure for the shelves, and then I'm going to go cut shelves. the lumber yard.
So I have one coat of polyurethane on all of this, um, but before I put the second coat on, I need to glue these supports on. So we are back in the bedroom and several days later and my son and I got this in. Uh, it was not easy and we had to do a few little adjustments here. Uh, first of all, I don't know if you remember, but up at the top here, this was cut around the beam so that this part of the board went up higher, uh, but we had to cut that off on both sides to be able to slide it in here. And then of course I did a little bit of twisting along the way and this got broken right here um, but that's going to be covered up by the shelf so that's okay too. Uh, it won't matter. <clears throat> we also had to take the bricks out right here. Again this won't matter. I can put them back in easy enough. And I originally was going to leave this a brick shelf, but I have instead decided to cut uh, an 8 inch, uh, 1 by 8 inch piece of pine uh, just to lay on top of the bricks. Uh, mostly just to cover this up so that it doesn't look as ugly. Um, and where I am right now is I need to now uh, shift this so that it's completely up against this beam and screw it in against the beam that's behind this so that it's all in place and won't move anywhere. And once I get uh, the right hand side screwed in, then I can make sure it's all square and then I will attach this side uh, to that beam up there. So I've got some cleaning up here to do of this and getting it all straightened out um, before I put the shelves in. I've also in this process decided that I'm going to put boards in at the top uh, so that this bookcase has more of a ceiling versus just the exposed beams. And that's because um, this whole chimney system, well this whole house, it, it's old. I think I've said that before, it's built in 1820. And, um, you know, obviously in the winter I have mice in here and I'm smelling a dead mouse right now. I have no idea where it is, but miso keeps going back in here. And uh, has presented me with a gift of a mouse on the bed a few times during the night. And I can smell a dead mouse now, which is probably way up in there somewhere because she goes, she climbs up and gets way up in there. And um, I'm thinking there's probably a dead mouse up there somewhere that I'm never going to see. Um, or maybe I'll see it when I eventually got the living room, which is on the other side of this chimney, and I rip all that out on that side. So let's get started and get this uh, all squared and you know, screwed in, and then we can go on to the bookshelves. Okay, so even though I found with the GRK screws, you really don't need to drill pilot holes. Um, I've never had them split the wood. Um, I am going to anyway, because it's birch plywood that I'm screwing into. Um, so I'm just going to drill some pilot holes. So these are the shelves, uh, a 6 inch, an 8 inch, and two 12 inch, and the shelves have um, the supports on both the front and the back side of the shelf. This is the 8 inch that's going to be used uh, at, on top of the bricks at the bottom of the bookcase. Um, that is not finished on the underside because it won't be seen. These are the supports that will be for the two pieces that are for the ceiling of the bookcase, uh, an 8 inch and a 6 inch. 
or sorry, a 12 inch and a 6 inch, and again, they are not finished on the back side. Um, this will be facing up uh, into the into the floor uh, from above. So all these are ready to go. The very first thing I'm going to do is mark this side for level to put the first support. This one's too long, I have to cut it. These are what I'm going to use to hold the shelves in place. Um, so I need to be a lot more accurate about where I drill holes for these. I do want them even and level and plumb and all that. Um, so what happens is I drill a hole into the side of the bookcase for this, and then I will mark the shelf by pressing down on this point, and then I would drill a little shallow hole for these to sit into the bottom of the shelves. And where I want to place them is one just inside of here and one just inside of here. Shelves are not necessarily absolutely perfectly level, but they're level enough. Besides, nothing in this house is straight, plumb, level anyway. It's had over 200 years of settling, so I think that turned out pretty well, though. So I still need to do the brick, um, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. Um, I'll worry about that further down the road in this whole project. But right now, what I'm going to try to do is install these LEDs. Now, I've had these for years. Um, they've been sitting in a cabinet, never done anything with them. <clears throat> I think I paid like five bucks a piece for them at Walmart. Um, and they were like during the whole Christmas shopping season, you know, they had like stacks and stacks of them. Okay, so because I don't have the electric hooked up to this, uh, these two plugs yet, I am going to just use uh, the extension cord here and plug them in that way. Just going to have to plug them into the lights and do the backwards. Oh, there we go. I think I must need both remotes. Okay, uh, it's not showing up as well on the camera as it is here in real life, uh, but it's a very nice soft white glow um, that looks great. I know on the camera it looks really sort of extremely bright, especially down in the, along the, from what I can see on the left lower edge. Um, but it's actually not. It's actually very soft white. Uh, let's see if we can go to a different color. Let's try red. So one remote will work on both. I just had to have it close enough for it to sense both of them. So it's got lots of different colors.
and the white has different varying brightnesses. Okay, so I'm going to be really happy with this. Um, obviously, I need to channel this somewhere. I'm probably going to put it behind this bottom shelf. Uh, over to the to the thing but for now um, I just wanted to test it out and then I'm gonna unplug these now and I will leave uh, I will see how well this glue holds on these lights uh, I may have to use something else I don't know we'll see so for now I'm gonna close this video out uh, and I'll move on to the next phase which is this uh, where the TV cabinet is going to be. I think that's going to be even more fiddly than this was. We shall see. So come back next week and see how I'm coming along with that. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.